In this video, I am going to show you three OneNote planner tips and tricks that I've learned and turned out to be really useful. So let's get started. So the first tip is for the comment that I got recently on my OneNote planner video asking if there's a way to lock the templates so that when you draw on it and use the eraser, it won't erase the template itself. So I will show you how. So we have the templates on OneNote here. You have each box here. So what we are going to do is zoom in as much as possible and then take a screenshot of each box separately. Zooming in makes the quality of the screenshot better. And that is why I recommend doing it. Repeat this process for each box. Now when you're done with that, create a new sheet in your planner. Copy the title from the template and paste it to the new sheet. Now click pictures from file and select all the screenshots that you took and add them to the planner. And now you just arrange them the way you like. Now that that's done, to seal it all together, you are going to click on each box and choose the set as background option. This locks them into the background and it won't be able to be removed until you right click it and turn the set as background option off. Now I have a bonus tip here. If you want the background to be any color you want, like this, after you've taken a screenshot of all the boxes, go to remove.bg and remove the background of each box. Save it. And now with the clear background, it is possible to change the color. And there you go. My second trick is embedding an Excel spreadsheet that can be some sort of tracker, like a habit or expenses tracker for your OneNote planner. I created a simple example in Google Sheets and now I will just download it as the Excel format. Now on OneNote, open up the page, click Spreadsheet and Existing Excel Spreadsheet. You can adjust the size and fill it by drawing on it. And my spreadsheet, for example, is just for one month, so what I can do is just copy and paste them below each other for the whole year. You can do that too. The third tip I have for you is linking pages and sections. So go to the page you want to link, right click, copy link to page, and go to the page where you want this page to be linked to. Click paste and there it is. Just click it and it will redirect you to that original page. You can change the formatting of the text also if you'd like. This is great for if you have so many multiple pages and you uh, you can use this to, for example, just you can have a directory of different recipes or you can make a table of contents for your planner, for example. I hope this video gave you some good ideas for customizing your OneNote more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao!